What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are headed to an air cooled show right here in Chattanooga, Tennessee called Bugapalooza. But instead of taking the bug, we're going to take the BMW 700. Since it's close enough, it's under half is Volkswagen Beetle and the top half is original German air cooled that most people haven't seen before. So Kayla and I are going to run over to Bugapalooza for a little bit. Today's day one. Last year we took it over on the Sunday, close to the end of the show, had quite a few curious people walking around it, trying to figure out what on earth this thing actually is. And if you're wondering what this thing actually is, it's a 1960 German market BMW 700 Sport Coupe. And this is heralded as the car that saved BMW from bankruptcy after the 507 and many other decisions they made in the 50s basically bankrupt them. So it's a really cool car. It's heralded as the savior of BMW. And as you can see, the Sport Coupe has these factory pop-out side windows. The coupe had this short roof with this little pop-out window. The saloons were a longer roof with a larger static side window. And in my opinion, the coupes are such a bizarre looking little car. I leave tomorrow for California to work on a pretty cool project that's going to take us to the Overcrest Rally later in May. So this upcoming week, the next few episodes are going to be kind of crazy, for me at least, because it's going to be a lot of work. But since it's the day before I leave, we decided to get an episode up for today. I'm editing this from the airport and from the plane. We're not taking the Beetle. Since the giveaway's done, going to announce that very soon as to who's winning that car. That's coming up later this week, so stay tuned for that. Let's go take this thing for a sunny South Tennessee drive. So if you haven't seen this car in person, there's really not a lot of room in here, but the seats and steering column have been built to stretch back from the dashboard so you can kind of drive it with a relaxed leg fit, as it were. The pedal cluster for the Beetle Pan is right under the dashboard, so if you didn't want to be basically sitting Indian style driving this car, we built a custom steering column to stretch back and the seats are now where the back seats, or the front seats are now where the back seats used to be. So it's kind of a cool driver position. You kind of look out the side window when you're sitting. It's almost like a hill climb car position. Yeah, that's what I yeah. thought. I've got an automatic starter in that fastback, but I need it. You're going to need 
an automatic. And yeah. it's still readily available, just like the regular. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. yeah. Good we'll, see you, dude. we'll catch up with you. No, they're they're pretty rare. Pretty hard to find. Yeah, yeah. I think you could drive this thing, big man. Oh, you throw your ass. I've had a friend who's seven foot sit in that car before. Oh wow, really? <laughs> yeah. I love like. All right, so we're here at Bugapalooza. Just got parked. There's a lot going on, so we're gonna walk around, show you guys some of my favorite stuff here, some of the rare stuff and rust stuff. Brought the yellow boy. <laughs> well, are you driving, buddy? <laughs> I haven't seen this since last year, Bugapalooza. You never, I, I've never seen you cruising around in this thing. I don't get out in it a whole lot. No. I got a trail of oil going up my road. From Sam? <laughs> yeah. It's all right, I got a trail of oil going up my driveway. Shelty and Corky mix. Oh, right. Corky mix. So I always really? say it's a low rider Shelty. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Uh. Fasty here. Give me some ideas for mine. Yeah. Get me motivated about my fastback. Fastbacks just look so good on the ground. Yes, they do. So this guy's got an Everesto sticker on his Beetle. So this Beetle here is running Everesto components. He's running Max's bolt-in bag kit. So he's got the full front beam with the air shocks up front and the bolt-in rear kit. Very, very cool. First generation Everesto kit. Also running one of Ollie's Supermade stickers on the back window, which is really cool. BBS RS's. All right, leave it to me to come to a Volkswagen show and just be so stoked on the Ford OBSs. Wow, this thing is incredible. We saw this on the road the other day. I passed this on the highway and just about lost my mind. The one visor, cab lights. You wanna see something cool though? Look at that tow mirror. Yep. So you guys may know that I talked about these gooseneck OEM mirrors on my OBS and they made them side specific. Now they're symmetrical so you can run them on either side of the truck but they're specific to each side of the truck. So the Ford stamp on the back here so if you don't have a right side and left side the Ford emblem ends up being upside down. When I did my truck, I searched everywhere for a passenger side and driver side specific tow mirror. Even the Alcoa stickers and Alcoa center caps. Never ever was in the 993s. But the fact that it's the last air-cooled Porsches they made is so cool. Yeah, 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 I know. Lowest thing here, right? It wins. I mean, I get it. Look at 
think of this one. That's the one. I'm not huge in the like full restoration, tons of chrome, like as far as doing the work myself. But when they go all the way to the ground, I love it so much. Front bumper on the floor. Look at the interior. That blue steering wheel is it though. The tubs. The custom seat rails to match the tubs. And, and door work. The bus is amazing, but a slam split window would be the one. That is for sure. That bus is like outside of just the realm. Every little nook and cranny is finished and restored. Interior, upholstery. This though, a little bit more my speed. <laughs> all the rust, all the original. Look, the old STP sticker that was there. And laminate, just laminate. Look at this. So sick. Not as low as the finished one, but definitely more my style. What do you think? Shiny chrome and paint or the way you find it? The way you find it. Yeah. <laughs> Another slammed fast back here. Some Porsche wheels. Man, you know, I haven't forgotten about mine, guys. I haven't forgotten about it. The pop out side windows. So cool. So these guys here all came down from Chicago. They brought like 30 cars, Illinois plates. There's a whole block of these guys. They all came down from Chicago. We pulled in in the 700 and a whole bunch of the guys recognized us. So it was really cool to meet these guys. Hope they have a safe trip home to Chicago. I'm realizing I'm basically just showing you guys all the slammed vehicles here because as you could probably already imagine, that's definitely more my wheelhouse. Definitely that modern style. Semaphores too. Really cool, it's got semaphores. All right, so we're leaving Bugapalooza. This was kind of a last second thing to bring this out, but also a last second thing to make an episode out of it. Getting on a plane at 6.30 in the morning and didn't really know what to do for Sunday's episode. So Kayla and I decided to just pile in this thing. Oh yeah, that's the uh, Lada 2101. Very cool. So I talked with the owner of that car at a local like car meet that goes on once a month here. And he's from Germany and he imported that. He owned that car in East Germany. He brought it over when he moved here and he's done a bunch of work to it here. So that thing's pretty cool. Makes me miss my auto. But we had a great day here. We both got sunburned. And you know what's really crazy is realizing that the channel's become kind of an air cooled channel. And there's a lot of people here in like you know, an older generation than me that watched the channel. So if you saw us at Bugapalooza and you came up and said hi, we really appreciate it. Like it's, it's kind of crazy to have people a generation or two older than me watching the YouTube channel. Good looking boy, Juju. Good looking boy. Good boy, buddy. Tila. Hi. Hi, Tila. Hi. 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 Good girl. Oh, I know. I know. Hi, Juju. Good boy, bud. <laughs> yeah. But maybe, like, it's a hundred bucks. Oh, I know you're such a baby. Look at this guy. You don't get to have a puppy and cash out when you don't want it anymore. I know. Hi. Oh. All right, so we just stopped for coffee and in the next door parking lot. <laughs> this thing 
is insane. The stinger pipe makes it. This is just wild. It's got to bounce down the road, you think. All right, guys, well, we're back and we're tucked in, totally tucked in. That was our time at Bugapalooza 2024 here in Chattanooga, Tennessee. It's always fun having the BMW 700 and it'll equally be as fun having the Auto Union 1000 SP at air-cooled Volkswagen shows since they're now powered by air-cooled Volkswagens. But if I saw you guys at the show, thank you so much for coming up and saying hi. It's really kind of crazy, as I mentioned before, to meet a lot of you through this avenue, through YouTube, because of the air-cooled stuff. But it's not all I'm into. So if you're here for the long haul, you're going to see a lot of other weird stuff, not just air-cooled cars. I've always been into them, and I'm definitely in that weird groove right now. But I appreciate all of you guys. I've got so much packing left to do. It's like 7.30 p.m. now, and I have to edit this video from the plane from the airport. So if you're seeing this and it's Sunday, April 14th, I somehow pulled it off. I can't wait to share with you guys why I'm going to California and what car we're building, but stay tuned for the next episode. I'm going to tell you guys all about what we're building out there for the Overcrest Rally in Utah in May. We have one week to get this car ready for ultimately a cross country drive next month. Also stay tuned for the announcement of the winner of the 64 Beetle. That'll be in the next couple of episodes as well. For now, thank you guys so much for all of your support and for watching. We'll see you in the next episode.